Hello, everyone. I hope everybody is doing well. I uh, decided kind of last minute that I wanted to do a live. Uh, I have been organizing all of my backgrounds. And if you've been with me for any amount of time, you know that there's a lot of them. <laughs> I've shared them over on Instagram. I've shared them in my videos. I've shared them in lives before. It's just my background stash is crazy. So I am getting it. Well, it's organized now and I'll show you in just a second, but, and I'll have a video on um, coming up lots of videos actually on um, little things that I'm doing in my room to organize it better. Um, in the upcoming year, I'm starting late, but I do want to uh, start off by saying I have a free distress spray color combo guide, a brand new one for 2024. And the link to that is um, in the description, or I'll post a link right here for you so that you can grab that. Uh, there we go. And the next thing I want to talk just briefly about, um, I'm sure you guys are sick of me talking about the Card Maker Success Summit, but today's the last day to sign up for the free four day event happening. Well, the kickoff is happening later today, um, but it starts tomorrow. Um, there is almost 50 free classes. So I really urge you to go on the website and see what some of those classes are, what the techniques are. There are some amazing speakers. Um, there's freebies, there's giveaways, there's so much going on that I really don't know why you would miss it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, well, I think there is quite a few things going on this weekend, like SBC Fest and, you know, different things. But uh, these are the cards that I'm creating. Um, so even if you just sign up for the free ticket to make my cards, um, there's a Facebook group, you know, all the things. It's it's a lot of fun. And I'll be actually sharing this technique with you today, um, but I won't be sharing with you how I created the background, uh, just how I um, did the embossing and all that. Um, but yeah. Oh, let me post a link to that. Um, and I'm not going to try and sell you on the VIP pass. You kind of have to make your own decision if you feel it's worth it or not. Um, if you, if you, because so the classes are available for 24 hours. So tomorrow, like a handful of them will drop at a certain time. And then those are available for 24 hours. And then the next day, another handful will, you know, be live. Um, so if you don't see yourself being able to watch multiple in, you know, cause that's the free version. Um, which day am I on? You know, I am pretty sure I'm on Friday, Linda. Um, but yeah, so here's the link to that. Uh, if you happen to sign up for the VIP All Access Pass, you will get so much more bonus content. Uh, you will have immediate and ongoing access. You have, um, if you sign up with my link, I have a special class that should be automatically sent to you. Um, if not, then after on Monday, I think I'm just going to um, send out an a email with, with that for those people that signed up using my link. But again, this is, these are the cards that I'm making, whoop, <laughs> that I'm making. Um, there's lots of fun techniques. All right. Let's, any questions on that? Uh, any of those two things, the distress spray color combo guide and, or the, uh, card summit before I move on. I'm going to grab a little drink. Oh, I put it over here. So I had it. Hello, hello. All right. So I, um, if you're new to my lives, if you're watching the replay, it's very relaxed. I don't try to be a robot and make everything perfect. I, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> so um, bear with me. Hopefully I can give you some tips along the way. Um, 
and let's get into it. I try to do a supply list with the embossing folders and different things that I'm using, but then I got um, caught up in a phone call with my uncle. My grandma's sick, and yeah. So, anyways, I couldn't do that for you, but hopefully after the live, I'll be able to get that for you. Um, thank you, Kelly. I appreciate you. <laughs> um, I did see someone sign up for the, uh, to be a member. If you're in here and a member, uh, you do have, um, exclusive little emotes, emojis that you can, um, put in the chat. So just wanted to put that out there. Cause I think I always forget to tell people, uh, anyways, let's move on and I'm going to switch my camera here and then I'm actually going to remove my face because I forgot to put it over on where I need it to go. So let's get going. All right, I think I'm going to mute just for a second while I move my microphone. Um, and if at any point that my sound goes wonky, just if you could yell at me in the chat in all caps because my sound has a mind of its own. And hopefully it's working now. I tested it 500 times before this. Hopefully it's working. If not, I apologize. And um, just let me know and I can fix it right away. So, all right. All right, let's see, is it, make sure that it's all the way up. I have a lot going on here. Um, Carlos Han says, I checked the schedule and you're on Thursday. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I'm on. So for some reason, there's a lot of things in the works, like in the next several months. So sometimes uh, it all kind of jumbles together. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is background storage. Let me grab it. Okay, so this, let me zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so this is what my background storage looks like now. I love it. These envelopes are from scrapbook.com. They have tons of different sizes. And um, if you've seen my backgrounds before, you know that they were in two different bins. I've, I've pared it down and this is what I'm stuck with. Um, so they're in categories and I will have a video coming up soon ish, um, on my process of how I did all this. Okay, but I do, I will say that now that they're organized, I do, I feel like I'll find myself wanting to use them more. Um, let me zoom back. There we go. Because before it was like, I wanted a certain one and I couldn't find it. And it was like, you know, a 30 minute process just to try and find the one that I was looking for. All right. So let me see. The first one that I have on my list is Sure. Okay. So I want to just go over a few examples of ones that I've done in the past that I've just taken a background. This was a watercolor um, background and I embossed it and there's that one. And then this is alcohol ink on some vellum and I just stamped out a floral stamp and embossed it with white embossing powder. There's no sentiment on here. I haven't finished it hundred percent but um, just moved it to the next step, I guess. Uh, this is a Galentine's card I made. I, it was a couple years back. Um, this was, um, do I have it or did I move it? Oh yeah, so sometimes what I'll do is I will emboss a bunch of backgrounds um, with some of my favorite embossing folders. And that's what this one was. Um, or vice versa, or this was from this. Uh, and then I just used some white ink over top of that. All right, so here are some more. These are distressed backgrounds. 
and I just used white pigment ink on top of the embossed areas and it created a really beautiful look, I think. This is probably one of my favorite ways because I have so many back, uh, so many um, embossing folders and it's a great way to use them up and also use your um, backgrounds as well. So this one was one that I did with some mica stains, some, I think it's just actually mica stains. And what I did with this one is I used some, uh, was it archival ink. And so I darkened up all of those areas. And then, so it kind of left the leaves a little bit lighter, kind of, <laughs> I got a little splatter happy on here, but that's okay. Um, all right. So the next one is inlay die cutting. So this was from a little event. It was, um, Ardith. She was teaching some inlay die cutting. Uh, so she's the pro at it. Go follow her. Go check her channel out. She's amazing at inlay die cutting. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but um, I had some backgrounds um, from my class uh, that I needed to use. So that's what I did with those. So I'm just giving you some ideas and then we'll get into actually making um and here's an idea for alcohol inked backgrounds. I know a lot of you struggle with what to do with them. Um, and I'll be sharing this with you today. And most of these cards or techniques you can probably find on my YouTube channel in videos. So, or lives, um, like this one, I think I made live or in a video. I can't remember hundred percent, but this one I used, well, let me get back to these. Sometimes I have squirrel moments, so I apologize. <laughs> Um, is, is anybody here? The chat's like stopped or is there, is anybody, you guys crafting what's going on? Let me know where you're from, what you're up to, what you do with your backgrounds. Um, all right. So the alcohol inked backgrounds are, um, I emboss them like this one's embossed with a die actually. And, uh, this one's an embossing folder, uh, oh, this one is actually a, um, a foil plate. Oh, you're paying attention. Okay. <laughs> oh, everybody was so quiet. All right. Uh, and then what you do is you just, um, sand over the top and I almost forgot. I do have one here. Okay. Uh, so that one's always a fun one to do, um, to use up those backgrounds. All right. And then this one is, why do I have those there? These are uh, those alcohol inked gel or out the gel printing that I did with alcohol inks. So this one, um, this is one I'll show today. I just kind of took one of those backgrounds that I liked. And then what I did was I just cut it down, ripped the edge and put a die cut on top and called it a day. And then this one I used, um, what is this die? It's a uh, Tim Holtz die, some leaves, and I die cut those out. And then there's that one. All right. Currently cutting out tulips for my backgrounds. Awesome. All right. I wish I can do a poll from here. I want to know how many of you artsy leaf. Yes. Thank you. Oh, Deb, we're just going to be using our backgrounds. I'm, I have a lot of backgrounds. Um, so backgrounds can be anything. It can be um, gel printing. It can be watercoloring. It can be um, alcohol inked. Like there's ink blending. It could just be anything. I know a lot of people um, had said that they use them as they go. Hats off to you because... <laughs> I have a hard time doing that. <laughs> Sometimes it's more fun for me to, um, what is this one? To just make backgrounds. All right, so I have some that I already embossed. And again, I will um, try to do a supply list, but I really, 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 I cannot stress enough how much I want you all to use what you have in your stash. 
I don't do these lies. I don't create to sell you anything. I really just try to inspire you to use what you have to look in your own stash. And, you know, I'm guilty of it as well, where, you know, you see that one thing and you just have to have it. I get it. Um, but I hope that um, more than, you know, uh, inspiring you to shop, I hope that I inspire you to use your stash. All right, so this one I use, this is, um, so I'll give you a little sneak peek. I um, created this tag yesterday and a video will be coming soon. Actually a free mini class, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and I was doing some distress sprays in the greens and this was one that I kind of was just testing out the colors. Uh, so we're gonna swipe some white pigment ink on top. This is uh, from scrapbook.com. Okay, and I'm just gonna swipe it, swipe it. I know Laurel Beard says shwinking, I say swiping. So we're just gonna swipe on top. Some of them turn out better than others, I will say that. Um, but this is a new-ish, I think I got this several months ago, but I don't think I've used it, uh, embossing folder. So I wanted to kind of use that to see. And you could see that this background is nothing special, okay? We can cut this down. Um, whoops. Try not to get it all over my hands. All right. Can even swipe some of that on the edge here. And of course, pigment ink does take a while to dry. So you do need to be careful. I'm not going, going to be finishing each card. I'm just to hopefully giving you some ideas. So that is that. I got it all over my hands. <laughs> Laurel is so funny. All right. Now I have, oh, I didn't do that one. I wanted to do this one. Maybe I'll do that. Um, uh, let's see. This is a new folder from Simon Hurley, Geo Quilt. This is one of those things where I saw it, I had to have it, and um, I didn't have really anything like it. So um, I'm gonna get my, um, my die cut machine. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to This is some distress sprays on some uh, watercolor paper, it feels like. So I'm gonna spritz the back pretty generously because um, it's pretty thick. All right. There we go. And let's see the sandwich for this. I don't have the new Spellbinders fancy platform thing. What I use is my old Sizzix um, platform thing, or what is this called? Yeah, this, and then I took the little, the other hinge parts out, and then if I need to, I just take it off. What kind of paper would I use for alcohol inks? Uh, for alcohol inks, you need a synthetic paper. So, um, like, I like to use craft plastic. You can use Yupo paper. I use vellum. Um, things like that. You cannot, I, you can use watercolor paper, but it's not going to give you the same results as, it's just going to soak in. It's not going to um, be very good for, that's not going to work. Okay. Maybe this one is a... I never know. It's it's a guessing game for me. And see, that's too thick. So back to this one. Um, hello, Stacy. Isn't it a beautiful day today? All right, here's my little tab. And I've been tempted to buy the new fancy Spellbinders thing, but I'm like, I, I have this. It just... It works. Why should I spend more money when I have something that works? It may not be the prettiest thing, but it works for me. 
Um, no mixed media paper, anything that is like paper, like that substrate isn't going to work. It needs to be more like plastic because you don't want the alcohol ink to soak into the paper. I have lots of videos on my channel using alcohol inks. So maybe you can try to get some, um, tips from there. Uh, And I do actually have a video coming up. I have several videos in the works. When they will be out, I have no idea. Um, but one thing is with certain things, you definitely need to spend the money and get the right paper because paper matters a lot with certain things. Um, all right. Wow, oh, I love this one. All right. So we're going to doesn't look like much yet, right? You could see that, but just wait. I'm gonna swipe right on top. And I'm going a little more heavy handed on this one. Just like that. Yes. I use cheap cardstock for my card bases, um, but for things like distress sprays, um, watercoloring, uh, you know, certain techniques is def you definitely need good paper. Buying cheap paper, trying cheap paper, or ones that not even necessarily cheap, just ones that just don't work for that specific technique is going to make you very frustrated. <laughs> All right, isn't that fun? Funky, right? <laughs> yes, exactly, Stacy. Okay. I am going to move on to the alcohol ink. And so this, I don't, I'm pretty sure this is um, craft plastic, but I just run it through my die cut machine like I would any um, embossing. So you can emboss your synthetic paper. And what I'm gonna do is close that. I'm gonna go in just a little bit, there we go. All right, now we're going to just, sorry if this gets really loud and if it if it's too much, like if it's, if it's annoying to hear this scratching noise, then let me know and I'll stop. <laughs> um, and I'll uh, share the video for you so you can watch it. So we just take this nail file and we're just going to file off that top layer of color. Will using a heat gun help the opaque? Or will, um, it should help. Yeah. Hello, Ruth. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see your comment there. Do you water down reinkers to use them for sprays? Um, I don't. I have lots of sprays that I use. Um, from what I understand, watering down reinkers aren't going to give you the same result as a spray. Um, I don't, I don't think I've ever tried it. I've done like smushing and things like that with reinkers, but never really made my own sprays. So if anybody else has done that, um, feel free to chime in. All right. You could see that. So let me share where that other card go. Oh, they're right here. 
Um, where, where is it? Oh, this one, yes. So this is the one, this is the same technique, but I took a lot longer to uh, um, sand it off. I feel like that sanding noise could probably be annoying, uh, but I just wanted to show you the results that you can get. So there's the start and then, um, magic eraser. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little nail buffer. Um, I buy a ton of them off of Amazon. And uh, yeah, but you do have to be careful because like this area is white. So you could see that I ran over top of it with kind of the dirty side. And so then I would go in with the clean side and just kind of clean that up a little bit. Just like that. And then obviously the more you um, scrape, I've tried it with uh, Tim Holtz uh, sanding and it's too abrasive. It doesn't work the same. It leaves like really bad lines. Um, like this one, you could see a little bit of lines, but the little discs, I forget what they're called. And then you put them on top of the, um, you know, <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, but yeah, that's a little bit too abrasive. It's probably a little bit easier, um, but these are like nail buffers. So they're, it's like a, I don't know how um, sanding paper works. I can't remember if it's the larger the number, the higher the grit or the lower the number. Anyways, it's, this is perfect, I found, um, to do that. So, yeah. Yes, it definitely is more subtle, Lori. Um, this one actually, believe it or not, I put some white pigment ink over this one. So depending on how many swipes you put over it uh, can, you know, give you a different result as well. So um, here's another one of the alcohol inked backgrounds. And of course, like adding the splatters and the gold and everything like that is, um, you know, helps with the end result of whatever your, you know, your card is. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. All right, man, this might be a short live. And I thought I was going to um, have way too many things to share. All right. So I'm going to kind of recreate this one a little bit. Uh, I have embossed uh, this white background. And then I have this. This is a gel print with alcohol inks. And then um, I was going back and forth between these two because I love both of these color combinations, but I really like the boldness of this one. So what I'm going to do, and I did want to say that when we think of making cards, at least I do sometimes, is that I think we get in our heads too much and we kind of overthink things. Like this is super simple. It's already a background done. I put a die cut on top, put a sentiment and embossed the white background just to make it a little extra something, you know, a lot of these are similar. So watercolor background, nothing too fancy. Um, and then these ones are just playing around with alcohol inks. So um, there's those. And then of course I have like more done um, backgrounds like this one, um, where I did with the distress sprays. Um, let's see, where's a really simple one like this one. Okay. This one, alcohol background, embossed it with the, with a die actually, and then, um, put a die cut on top. And I probably could have put some gold splatters on that die thinking about it now. <laughs> um, and then put a sentiment. Super, super simple. We don't always have to complicate things. Things can just be super simple. And if you're looking just to be creative, taking these simple ideas and just mass producing some, and then maybe giving them to 
you know, cards for kindness, or um, is that the one that scrapbook.com does? I think there's like one that Barely Arts um, does. You can give them to um, uh, retirement homes. Like there's so many different things. Um, where do you get your larger embossing folders from? Let me see. Um, those are spellbinders. I, yeah, this one, spellbinders, spellbinders, spellbinders has really good size. Um, so. Yeah, I need a little drink. Cards for cups. That's right. Yep. Senior centers, hospitals. And of course you need to look into, um, each, um, different place depend, you know, because depending on where they're going, you know, there's different things like some of them don't want you to have glitter or like little small, you know, beads or like anything like that. So, um, and they want it to be, um, like generic, um, things like that. So, um, yeah. What paper do you use for the alcohol inks? Uh, this is craft plastic paper. Uh, it's my go-to paper for, uh, using alcohol inks. Um, yeah, it's, and I mean, I won't say that it's better than Yupo and Yupo is like a big brand. So there's lots of different companies that use Yupo, if that makes sense. Um, this is cra graphics craft plastic. Um, I just like it a little bit better. Uh, I can wipe it almost a hundred percent clean if I decide to start all over. And, um, also, it's a little more heat resistant than Yupo paper. So that helps too, if you're wanting to emboss uh, something on top. Um, yes, and you can sand it because it's it's basically plastic. I think somebody had said it's like PVC or something. I don't know. I really don't have any idea <laughs> what exactly it is, but I love this stuff. All right, so moving on. Um, oh yes, I forgot what I was doing for a second. Okay, so I have this. This is Altenew. No. What is that one? Hold on. It is Altenew. Yep. Okay, so... Arlene says, maybe May May, which she's May May made it uh, here on YouTube, accepts cards to give to children's hospitals and veterans. That's awesome, Arlene. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, so this one's the Altenew, just if you were curious. And what I'm going to do is I cut this down already because I thought I was going to have not enough time. And I wanted to go kind of dark ish to this orange. So like the dark purple to the orange. And I'm going to just rip it. Yes, I keep hearing that uh, high ground home and garden Dollar Tree poster board paper works great with alcohol inks. Yes, I keep hearing that. <laughs> um, I have I don't know what kind of dollar store I have here. But I don't know if they have um, I have to go look. I don't really venture outside my home much. <laughs> Cards for troops, no glitter, um, glitter paper, stickles or gems. Yeah. See, so there's, um, different organizations and different things have, um, where are my little scissors? Oh, there they are. All right, so now what I'm going to do, so I just curled up the edge here just to give it a little movement. And then what I'm going to, what I'm going to do is um, rough up the edge a little bit. And I just do this with scissors. I actually found, because I 
like I said earlier, I am in the process of organizing a lot of things in my room. I do have this edge distressor. Um, I don't know if I'm like the only one on the planet that still distresses their edges. Uh, but I think that, I don't know if there's actually a new, new one out, but I think, um, what's that company? Tonic Studios. It makes a lot of great tools. I think it's time for a new edge scraper. I used to really like the Prima one, um, but I stopped using it because everybody was asking and it, and you know, you can't get it anymore. So All right, my scissors work fine, better. <laughs> All right. There we go. And I think I'm gonna pop this up just a tad and um, with some foam adhesive. And this I got on Amazon and I'm pretty sure it's for some like home improvement thing. I don't think it's for crafting, but it works. So that's what I'm using. <laughs> All right. right here. I need to bring it closer so that I can semi get it straight ish. I'm an ish person. I don't measure. I don't really care if anything's like a little wonky. And then I'll just kind of curl up those edges. There we go. And I think I'm going to add some gold to this leaf. Um, just because I was using it yesterday and, um, where did I put it? Uh oh, maybe I won't add gold. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. So I have some foundry wax here that was semi open. And I feel like, oh yeah, see, look, it was shaking all over the place. Let me grab a wipe here. Okay, so I probably should have done this before, which I'm actually going to take this off of the background and what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the back of this so that it kind of makes that adhesive so I'm yeah so I don't end up ripping so I'm just going to heat the back it's going to um, ease up that adhesive a little bit and then I can pull this off so if you are in this predicament this is the way to go It was doing decent, but I want to make sure that I, I didn't rip it. Yep, up here, I need a little bit more. There we go. And that will flatten back out. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is... 
move anything I don't want gold on <laughs> away. And where did that paintbrush go? I think this was it. I'm going to add some there. And you kind of have to work fast because this does dry pretty fast. And I'm just going to add a little bit here. Has anybody used uh, the foundry wax? I know it came out a while ago and it's definitely one of those things that um, could be forgotten, sadly, but I love this stuff, so. All right. Next, I'm going to take my paintbrush and just going to kind of dab some of this off here and then just kind of hit the edges just a little bit. Just like that. All right. So will I be seeing some of you at the card summit, the card maker success summit this weekend? I hope so. Okay. I have that. Yay. <laughs> All right. Stacy, you should come out. <laughs> Craft together during the summit. Oh, it's a far drive, but. All right, and then I'm gonna add some splatters. I know it does. I didn't realize the SBC Fest was this weekend as well until, and the thing is, is that so many of these events are planned so far in advance that it's like, you know, you don't really know until it's hap all of it's happening. Um, but there is several events coming up. So keep your eye out. If you are not on my email list, that's the best way to know about, um, things that are happening and you can sign up in the description. There's um, a link for my distress spray uh, PDF. And then that way you will be signed up to my email list. And then, um, yeah. Yeah, we definitely should. And uh, Monique is in Vegas as well. <laughs> Misfit crafter. So um all right, I'm going to heat set this because to um, set this, you have to add heat and you'll see, hopefully, it kind of come to life. Let's see, there we go. Oh, I was covering it. And this is where this medium shines because, um, you know, there is definitely a lot of like mica, um, I don't even know what these would be called, uh, like the, the Finibear waxes, um, different companies make things uh, similar to this, but this is where this one is different. You have to heat set it and then, um, <gasps> you're not you, oh man, I didn't know you were moving. I think I saw somewhere, but I didn't realize that you were moving away. Man, how long have we been crafty friends and we haven't ever met up? <laughs> All right. All right. Now I'm going to do this one. California. 
behind you. That's not too far. Yes, Monique. Definitely. Okay. Oh my goodness. I love this. So pretty. This die is from Simon Says Stamp. But again, I really need you to try to use what you have in your stash. <laughs> oh wait, that is going to go really close. Renee, that's so funny because um, I've only been hearing of people moving out of California because <laughs> for we moved uh, 12 years ago. It's just way too expensive. So it's funny to hear somebody moving to California. All right, there we go. If my husband could have his way, we would we would move back. Kind of. <laughs> oh, so you lived in California already. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Now, I think I'm going to, where's my little glue? Love California. Right. Here we go. All right. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this. And this is some Barely Arts glue I put in a little fine tip um, bottle. And you can find these on Amazon. I use these for so many different things. Um, that they They're really handy in your craft room. So. And besides a little bit kind of getting up on top here and I have to remove it, I haven't, I think it clogged once. I won't say never because I think it actually clogged on um, in a class or I can't remember what I was doing, but, um, but for the most part, this is the way to go because it kind of sucks that glue back in and then you can even kind of like clean it out, that little tip. And I've seen that fancy tool. I don't even remember who makes it. Um, that glue, that glue tool, the glue thing. All right. I, lo I love Southern California, but my family is from Northern California. And so Northern California definitely is different, of course. The beaches and everything are different. But um, to me, I find Northern California more beautiful than Southern California. My husband will strongly disagree, but I love the redwoods and... All right, I'm kind of like curling up the little leaves here just to give it a little more dimension and um, movement here. That's a good idea. You know, we've actually, my sister-in-law lives in Texas actually, and <laughs> we played around with the idea of like buying like a compound or something over there. And um, 
to kind of do something similar. But I think we would get on each other's nerves. Um, I was born in Santa Rosa, California. Um, lived in Bernie, California, if you know where that is. It's near Redding. Um, I lived with my dad for a while in Petaluma. Um, so yeah. All right, Melissa, thank you. Have a fun day at work. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? I thought I had another one of these. I usually buy a couple at a time. It might be in my other thing. Um, what should we put here? Any ideas? Hmm. Sometimes, uh, let's see. Yes, Stacy, I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're from Tim Holtz. They're, they have like the black ones with the gold and then white with gold. And then they also have these, which I haven't used. Um, but those would be fun for something too. Um, yeah, I don't know. Cause I want to keep with the gold. So maybe I'll make it a I'll put make a wish right there. Lots of birthdays coming up. Not that they'll probably, they probably won't get a handmade card, but the thought is there. <laughs> my mother-in-law's birthday, my mom's birthday, my daughter's birthday. Oops. Mother's Day. Man, there we go. Hello, Carol. I'm going to stick some foam adhesive on the back. And I don't, when I craft, I don't worry about, like, is it going to fit in an envelope? Or, you know, what am I going to do with that after? Like, I get asked a lot, what do I do with my tags? Um, or, like, what do you use your tags for? Nothing. <laughs> I just create just to create and whatever makes me happy at the moment I will do because that's why I create and when I if I put too much emphasis on like restricting myself then it's not fun for me anymore obviously everybody's different so in the wise words of Tim Holtz you do you yeah <laughs> Bye, Renee. Oh, something about peace. That would have been good. Whoops. Can't get it straight. There we go. So there it is. There's the finished one. My mom always gets on me about giving handmade cards. Like for Christmas, I usually, until, to be honest, and this is not, a, you know, to sell you on the card summit or anything, but I will say that the Card Maker Success Summit has allowed me, I say allowed, but <laughs> um, to send out handmade cards uh, because I make so many of them for the summit. And um, then... Um, I'm able to send them out. So before that, I was always buying cards. So. All right. OK, 
Carol, you must have been a member for quite some time. I think that's the three year. All right, so here's that one. Let me just go over some of the samples here that I had in my stash. And I'm going to move back over to my other, my desk so I can do a poll because I want to know what um, video I should put out next. So I have one on what is the best paper for distress sprays. I also have, no, no, that one's going to be a little class. So I also have um, a embossing folder technique video. I have, um, what was I thinking about that made me? Anyways, I don't know. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> All right, so here is just an example of cards I've made using backgrounds. And these are just a few. I had to limit myself pulling out more and more. So here's the one that I had done a while ago. I don't remember where or when it was. And then kind of keeping with the same idea. Here's my new one. So I hope that gives you some ideas. Oh, that's right. Um, so I have three different options. I have, let me switch over to my other camera. Hold on. Hello. <laughs> okay. So I, oh, let me move this. Let's see. I have a mess right here. Okay. <clears throat> ooh, ooh. All right, let me see if I can go to YouTube so I can make a poll. Um, all right, so what is your favorite techniques to use up backgrounds with? Like something simple. Oh, I have to finish this one and pull. Okay. And then I got this one. So start another pull. All right. And I'll probably do this on my community tab too. So um, what video should be next? Okay. So I have, what did I say it was? Oh my goodness. I'll just do it on my community tab because my mind just keeps going blank and I cannot think of it. But um, keep an eye out because I'm going to be offering this as a free little class. If you took my distress pencil, watercolor pencil class, this was one of the tags that I did with the stencil. So this was, this had a leaf behind there. Um, and then, yeah. Somebody had a question about, do you have a crayon video? I do not, but it is on my to-do list because many people that have taken my classes before and um, I, <coughs> excuse me, I host a monthly crafty Zoom and um, they're all pressuring me to learn how to, no, I'm just kidding. So um, that's one of the things that I will be trying to do is learning how to use them. And I will only do like a video. I'll probably, if anything, I'll do a video. Um, but I may do a class, um, as well. Um, just depending, but I won't do a class if like, I don't love the techniques. Like I need to really love something to offer it. Um, but yeah. Thank you, thank you, smushing. So with your already done backgrounds, what techniques do you do to finish the cards? Like, what do you do to finish the cards? Let 
Let me, where is the, oh, there it is. All right, I'm going to post the spray. Yes, I have a ton of them and um, I just really don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so this is the link to grab my my newest dis Distress Spray Color Combination PDF guide download. Um, and then here is the link again to the Card Maker Success Summit. The kickoff party is tonight. Um, and the last day to register is today at midnight Eastern time. So here's a link to that as well. All right. Stencil on top, use black, white die cuts. Yes. Not all of it at once though. Splatter edge with black or brown. When to cut card front size. Yes, the kick is up. Man, the kickoff is in two hours. I'm excited. It's going to be fun. I always love the summits because there's so much like inspiration. Like if you're in the Facebook group, so many people um, making the cards from the summit. And then if you buy the VIP all access pass, there's a really fun uh, Zoom, like crafty Zoom. I think it's like a two hour uh, crafty Zoom. That's one of my favorites because then I'm able to connect with other people and um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. I know there's a lot of things happening and it definitely can be overwhelming um, at times trying to decide what to sign up for, what not to sign up for. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right. Any questions before I get going? I had fun hanging out with everybody. Uh, and if you are on the list to um, for the Crafty Zooms, I will be having one on Friday evening-ish, um, probably around five. So keep, keep an eye out for that email. It probably should be coming, um, what's today? Today, Tuesday or Wednesday? Today's Wednesday. So probably today <laughs> sometime. But anyways, all right. I will let you all go. And thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope you all have a great rest of your week. I'll catch you all later. Bye.